looking at some old photos that I think are my best. Top 10. 10? 10? Whatever. I honestly want to say this, the shoots that I did with um, Raymond, Miles, like all, all the fashion ones, all the ones that I was doing to try to get into fashion, Anthropology, Balenciaga, Dior, uh, Vans, I wanted to do one for Hollister, but I didn't have anyone for Hollister. Um, Levi's, H&M. To me, I think those ones are like some of the best. Um, so I already know like, I'm gonna have quite a few. I personally think my top photo with him is this one. This is the one that I honestly think is one of the ones that is my personal favorite out of all of them. I have some that I also think are really good up here. Um, I have Raymond, Taji, and Miles. I think this is one of my favorite. Second one was of Taji, and it was this Challen Hill uh, shoot that we did. Now, the one that I really loved that I put up there was this one. I love simple shots with a little bit of detail. With Taji, it's pretty much the same thing. Light, shadow, a little bit of detail of him, the field, and that's it. Another one that I think I printed uh, was was actually this shot for Chapel. I printed it out and I sent it to Spiritual Life and it was the last chapel that I was going to be part of at CBU. So that would be my, my three big time photos. Also, by the way, if you want to see any of these like shoots and the full list, it's I'll link it down below. It's in my um, on my Patreon page. During the time that I was at CBU, I was dating a designer, and she she had a professor who was super awesome. I, I really really loved Lan uh, Nancy, um, and the reason why is because during that time when I was trying to figure out what I wanted to shoot and like how I wanted to make my style, she pointed out that I, I, in some way, shape, or form, take photos the same way as someone paints. And that really inspired me to do more of like soft, gentle photos, I guess, if I'm like talking in painter terms. Do the same strokes of light as you would in a photo. Do the same strokes of shadow as you would in a photo. Um, and so that really spoke to me. And one of those that she like pointed out a lot was this photo of, right here of Miles. And I absolutely love this photo. And so this was one of the photos that was going to be the like cover of anthropology mock-up catalog pitch idea thingy. And this is one that we that we got. I really really love it. Um, shadows, light, amazing, all that good stuff. So that's would be five. Another shoot that I really loved was the one that me Will and his girlfriend at the time before they got engaged, Steph. Um, what we shot and this was in La Cresta which is like near um, near Marietta and the shot that I really really absolutely love is this one the texture of his of his facial hair the way she's holding him her smile his gaze perfect so now out of one two three four five six seven out of these seven for the fall I think my absolute like top favorites Will and Steph Chapel because it just speaks a lot and probably this one of Taji so now for the spring, one shoot that I re absolutely love doing was with Kayla. With this photo, so this was another studio shoot that I did. My first studio shoot was with Miles, and that one was freaking fire. Um, he, he killed it, like, dang, dude. Uh, but this one with Kayla was, and she was phenomenal as well. She absolutely destroyed it too. Speaking about Miles, I'm going to show you the one that I shot with Miles. That, to me was one of my favorites. Miles isn't, he doesn't wear glasses. At least I don't think he does. Um, but in this shot, I don't even know how I got this shot because I'm like really blind. They don't have glasses and this thing came out crisp clean. I mean it, well, pretty much. It came out crisp clean in my eyes. Again, it's simple. It's just him, nice suit, nice shoes. Everything is crisp clean. Hair is amazing. Facial hair, glasses with that nice, bar of white that are on my glasses. But the hinky right there. And it's just like, dang, dude. 
Fire. Next shot that I absolutely love from him, I have to find it, is the ones that are in black and white of him. He was like, do you want me to do a couple shots with my shirt off? And this wasn't part of the idea. And I was like, yeah, sure, go for it. I mean, we'll see what we can create. I loved, I liked it, but I didn't know how much more it would speak in black and white. And the reason why I'm saying that is because in a class of mine for fine art, um, the professor's name is Tammy. And I'll, I'll link her stuff lo below too. I'll link everybody's stuff below. But with her, one thing that stuck, that stood out to me and that I hold on to now, if you have something in color, it's seeing the person for how they are. If you have something in black and white, it's seeing their soul, the spirit of who they are. You're muting the color. You're muting what you actually see. And instead you're seeing, you can see emotion through color, but you see a lot more emotion, a lot more heart, spirit, the person in black and white. I don't know how people pose so incredibly, but Miles, please, if anything, even if it's part-time, just model, dude. Like, you got skills, please. Now, out of these ones with Miles, I would probably say the one, well, the one that I was like talking about the most, probably. Um, next one would probably, so Summer. We're just gonna go with this one because I feel like that's that's one of the ones. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then in the winter, I we went to Santa Barbara. And so for that, I would have to say, well, I only had th three. So maybe, if anything, this would be the photo. Only because you see the lighthouse, you see more depth of field, I guess. You can see the streets, you can see a little bit of the uh, skin marks, you can see some people here walking by, having fun, laughing, all that good stuff. Um, and so that would have to be my my photo for that one. So that's 2019. 2020 for the spring. One that I really love from a trip that we took for um, Rio Rico to go visit some family and friends would have to be this one. Um, just the way of how the cars look, the sunset, the next thing of photos would have to be one that is from, one that's from Oxnard Beach before we moved over here to Arizona. This particular photo, my mom took this photo um, on her phone and I like had to zoom it in to really get this style. So it's not best quality, but I love it because to me, this reminds me, so like it kind of reminds me of Star Wars, low key. But it also reminds me of the time that I was going through this thing in my life. And last photo, probably... Another one have to be Miles. And I want to say, I want to say this particular one right here with the shush. I love this one. One, it just fire. Two, perfectly like framed. I mean, I could probably take it off like a little bit of the, the brick on the side here. But I mean, other than that, amazing. But I also love it because this happened to be the photo that was chosen for the anthropology like mock-up catalog. Through this photo as well as some other ones that we took um, or like worked on together were part of my best photos. Okay. And these are my top 10 photos. If you liked today's video and you liked all the stuff that's going on of this and this, um, give it a like, subscribe, click the bell. That is it for me today. Peace.